This is a prototype of the new Kinefinity 8K full-frame camera with a brand new CMOS sensor which is much more capable, as well as a new EVF that also works with other cameras that have an SDI port, and a preview of their KineOS 8.0 operating system. You're watching Synity, supported by b and and CVP. Hi guys, welcome from NAB 2024. I'm here at the Kinefinity booth with David. How are you? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. You just announced a new prototype 8K camera. Now, that is not the 8K Mavo that we know, right? That's a completely new design camera. Yes. Uh, so we have uh, two new products this year. So this one is uh, our new 8K camera. The name is not decided yet. And it's a completely new CMOS, which uh, has a huge improvement compared to the uh, Edge 8K we have here. So for the, sim for the new 8K CMOS, we have... Uh, support 8K DCI up to 66 frame rates, which is a 20% improvement compared to our current uh, 8K cameras. And also for the 4K DCI, we can now support up to uh, 130 frame rates, which also double the, uh, double the maximum frame rates compared to our previous 8K uh, cameras. And now we also have a new SDI module. We have a five SDI ports uh, two of them can support up to 12G SDI 4K image, uh, another two for the uh, 2K output, and the uh, fifth one is a mirror of our uh, video output. So uh, so we have a three independent SDI output now. Okay. Can you, is there any difference in native ISO of the sensor? Uh, yes. Uh, the original 8K cameras we have uh, now is uh, 60, uh, 640 and uh, 2560. For the new AK camera, it's uh, 800 and uh, 3200, so it's uh, a little bit bump up as well. And any difference in dynamic range? Uh, the, the, the dynamic range is about the same, it's about 14 stops. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so I mean, for people who don't know your cameras, it's a very nice box camera. They're very popular for the people who use it. They're probably not as well known as they should be, to be honest. Um, but you're not recording on CF Express, right? Yes. Uh, our new SSD is a special design for the uh, for our cameras. Uh, it's uh, based on NVMe M.2 SSD. This is our SSD supports RAID 5 and uh, read only. We also supply a black version so people can buy their own M.2 SSD to put in there and to use on our cameras. It's a quite affordable way of actually getting additional storage. Great. Uh, let's talk about the mount. What mount does it come with? So we have uh, two options. Our Kini mount is supports uh, PL, EF, LPL, and the uh, Sony E mount. We also have a native uh, mount option. For example, the PL mount, you can just mount it, so it's uh, more ro robust if you don't want to change a mount quite often. And for E mount, for example, or EF mount, are those electronically connected? Can you control aperture and stuff like that through the mount, through the camera? Yes, uh, for the... For the wireless lens, you can control the iris aperture and the zoom, and uh, it's and we got all the metadata uh, displayed on our UI as well. Great. Um, in addition to the camera, you also announced a new EVF, right? Uh, what can you tell me about that one? Okay. Yeah, this is our new EVF this year. Uh, it supports uh, 3G and the 1.5G SDI, which is compatible with the more most. Uh, professional cinema cameras. Uh, it, it has a 0.7 inch uh, micro OLED uh, display inside. So yeah, it, it gives a, a great color depth and uh, uh, precision. It's 1080p or? Yeah, 1080p. So, and it also is fanless, so you don't get noise when you were shooting us. Uh, and it's uh, very super light. It's about uh, 300 grams, so 10 ounce uh, weight. And, and that, uh, EVF is not just for your camera, right? You can also use it with other manufacturers' cameras? Yes, we have a two, uh, two month uh, method for the EVF. Uh, one is the traditional like uh, every uh, rosette bracket, so most people are familiar with. The second one is our move cam uh, bracket, so you can put on the camera very easily. It also has a diopter, which ranges about 800 degrees. So that's friendly for most people with the prescriptions. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the, the cool thing about this is that you can, you know, like a camera operator likes to take their EVF from camera to camera on different jobs. So it's great if you can use the same viewfinder on different cameras. So that's not a problem. 
Yeah, that's not a problem. That's what this EVF is designed for. Perfect. Last but not least, you updated the Kine OS. 8.0. Yeah, so what's new about the new version of the new operating system? Okay, yeah, so Kine uh, OS 8.0 is our uh, new uh, firmware, which is going to be released around uh, July, official one. The beta one is going to be released around June, so people can test it out. Uh, the, the main feature of the 8.0 is we support uncompressed world across all, all our current uh, camera models. So it can support up to 4K75 uh, frame rates. Uh, we, will, we plan to support up to 4K120 uh, frame rates uh, raw recording. Uh, the data rate is up, uh, at 4K DCI 24 frames. The data rate is about 300 uh, megabytes. So for this one terabyte SSD, you can record close to one hour of, of footage. So uh, when you say uncompressed RAW, is it saved as DNG files or? Yeah, it's saved uh, as a DNG file with the metadata. So you can open it, uh, for example, in DaVinci Resolve and you can recognize it. And then you can also process it with the uh, ACES workflow as well. Okay. Uh, do you have any information about pricing availability about the camera yet or not really? Uh, for now, the name and the price is not uh, uh, dis released yet, but people... You can follow us on Instagram or check on our website when we are about to uh, release it. Okay. So no, you don't know when it will be your final product? Uh, no, this is just a prototype. The outlook, the pro might, might be changed. Okay, okay, fair enough. And same about the viewfinder? Yeah, so, uh, the viewfinder is going to be released around June, so a little bit earlier than this. But no pricing yet? No pricing yet, but we aim for a very affordable price, so it's not going to be very expensive. Okay, great. Yeah, there's definitely a lack of affordable viewfinder in the market that you can use on any camera. So really looking forward to that. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Cilidi for a lot more from NAB 2024. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.